there are a lot of opportunities uh, that uh, the agri-food uh, system transformation can benefit from uh, partnership with the private sector. Uh, the private sector has a lot of role to play in the, in the SDGs and we have seen that of course from the practical partnership uh, we have with the FA on, on this project. They're supposed to focus on how they can use the tools they have as a private sector to help create the ecosystems necessary to improve value and help uplift communities in a sustainable manner. FAO's engagement with the private sector takes various forms in a manner that both of parties mutually beneficial and effective. We take agricultural waste, rice husks, granite shells, maize cobs, coffee husks, and we convert those into electricity and clean cooking briquettes. FAO focuses on agriculture and all things to do with agriculture. Our partnership with FAO enables us to reach out to even more areas. We're able to now work in refugee host communities and refugee communities, giving them access to clean cooking fuel, as well as giving them access to an income from our purchase of agricultural waste. And through our partnership with the FAO, we are now able to add an additional 7,500 families to our impact chain. And that makes a massive difference. Uh, we see complementarities uh, between the work that FEO is doing in terms of increasing production and productivity and the work that Mondolius is doing. There is a, a, a global understanding that without private sector, we cannot uh, realize the sustainable development goal. Agriculture is a sector that by its nature is done by, by the private individual. kukula bado sukuma wiki kwa mboga na watoto nilirudia maragwe hapo njaa iko nilikula maragwe nilipakisa kidogo hiyo saa hii ona soya ninakaranga hapo na kunywa na kikanga matunda ona mimi nakamua biki vitu mingi makuku ona mimi liuza kwa wengine mimi nanunua mbuzi vitu mingi We decided to partner with FAO because our goals are aligned. Uh, our goals to ensure food security. Our goals to create decent job for youth, you know, across the continent. So we have this unity of goals uh, with with the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Um, we want to raise the next generation of agrarian leaders in Africa. So we expect that through this partnership, uh, youth are equipped with the right skills uh, in terms of uh, the needed skills for them to succeed in their agro businesses. Uh, they are also exposed to the right network uh, in terms of uh, uh, different opportunities that could help them you know, grow in their different agribusinesses. Yeah. So we look, we look. That those are the things we look forward to getting from the partnership, uh, uh, and the beneficiaries will be the youths. Partnership with uh, the private sector is key. You know, we're talking uh, agriculture as business. We want African youth to engage in agriculture as business you know and if you want to demonstrate that you're going to show this move that there are indeed people in the private sector that are succeeding in, in agriculture so they can build network and grow their own businesses learn from each other you know that's where the role of the private sector is quite important here and gr farms by the way is a very good example of the private sector Led by youth. Uh, we do avocado processing to oils and cosmetics, and of course, we are in the agricultural value chain. The number one thing was the financial. We got the 5,000 uh, US dollars from Mogaf, uh, which was actually an equity. Uh, we also gave out some shares, and then um, uh, coming to be part of the, the, the program and also the, the, the network. So there are other people who are coming in and also getting introduced to the FAO and some other partners of JR Farm. So there are a number of things that we are still incubating. 
that are still coming and hoping the, the next three, four years will be uh, a great journey. This is a call for a joint actions. Why don't we bring our resources together, expertise, innovation, technology, to create synergies for agri-food system transformation in Africa. Let's work together for better production, better nutrition, for a better environment, for a better life, for all, leaving no one behind. It's possible to bring about significant improvements in production and productivity. That is uh, a huge opportunity. And this across the whole value chain. Uh, from uh, production to processing all the way up to uh, consumption of food.